All right, everyone, Supreme Kami over here. So another week has passed, and we have an episode two of Gundam Breaker Balog over here. But before I do want to talk about to this episode, I do want to apologize in advance for the gameplay because I forgot to pre-record some multi-mission matches using uh, Lifelines Heaven, Helios, as well as Perfect Strike Freedom. So I'm basically using what I used last week. So forgive me for that. I just said I, I forgot. I basically forgot we had the update where we have it right now, so I could not really go back in to record. But do let let me just kind of talk about the episode real quick, and then before you guys proceed on further, if you guys have not watched the episode, I do highly suggest you guys to click off right now and come back after you guys have watched the episode, uh, because I'm probably going to be including a lot of image from the actual episode. I'm not going to be able to let's say play you know the entire clips because I will be I, I'll I'll basically get. Um, copyrighted for just like basically replaying the whole episode, but you know, I uh, will surely include you know some image from what happened in the episode. But you know, let's talk about the episode two right now. In terms of episode two, I will have to say it's it's kind of alright. You know, it's not going to be anything like too surprise of it as of yet. Uh, we were able to see a lot more character compared to last episode. Uh, last episode, we got a little bit of an introduction to Misa. Uh, I said. Is it Takuma as well as Kentoro, right? So those are like the me three main characters. Not really main characters, but like three most Im more important characters. Uh, but in this episode, we saw we saw uh, more of like the crew from the actual game. Uh, we saw Ron. We saw her mom Ran. I'm like, why? Why was her mom with, right there with her in the Gundam uh, the GP festival where wherever they were at? And we also were able to saw Yuri. Uh, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people would definitely have questions about like why why are they animated the way they are? I I can't really tell you much about how like in terms of animation and whatnot. Um, they were only there for like ten seconds, like give or take. Like they were literally only there to take two three selfies, and they're gone. Like what? Like we're like we're like are they ever gonna hop into the battle as well? Like. Uh, is like the main character like uh, Ryusei Fudo, Tumak, and then Sena. Are those three the only one we're gonna see as well as uh, Misa obviously, right? Are we not gonna see the other crew as well? So that's kind of like a bummer for me. Like right out of the, not really right out of the bat, but I feel like they could have implemented and more characters in there. Like just not showing them in that first 10 seconds, right? And then after that, we also did see um, Tumak. We also see Sena and then we saw ourselves. So basically, we were supposed to be the main, like ourselves, like the player, like actually playing the game. We are supposed to be so called like the main character, uh, but they have decided to drop the actual main character. So uh, his car we use a fruit, if you guys do not know already. So we got a little bit of glimpse of how they kind of interact with each other and all that. Um, Sena is more of like, I don't know. Let me do know how you guys feel about her in the episode, like uh, in terms of how she interacts, like her actions and all that. Uh, they actually did went into battle, uh, so it's more of like a, com a composition of three player, uh, more of like a three, uh, a three player base team over here. If you, if, if I'm even saying it right, but uh, they're basically uh, not really teaming up. If you will, uh, hopping into battle, just trying to take out some grunts and then trying to fight the ace boss. If I think that's how they. Uh, portrayed it. Um, so after like defeating all the like, you know how like in game, um, after we clear all the waves, you we hit that last round where we fight a little bit of a strong boss. I think that's what we're trying to do, but that did not actually happen, right? Uh, we actually get interrupted, as you guys will see, like very towards the end, right? So um, let's actually talk about the battle. Um, so what we have seen from the battle uh, in, in terms of how it relates to game. I kind of see that really like very much related to the game and how like accurate that can be uh, because Sena actually went into battle using her purpose strike freedom. Um, she thought she can just kind of take out all the grunts for herself. Um, so she was like, oh, let me use my perfect full burst to try to wipe out everyone. But she was later faced with another strong enemy, enemy uh, Talagis 3, where she used it, let's say her rel like her shoulder rail cannon and whatnot and then she went she ran out of bullet so i guess that part to me is pretty resembling to the game uh because in game we do have crew down uh like you know for cussing each skill like the perfect perfect full burst of evil um that to me is more of like a cussing each skill so that will have like an extremely long crew down so then that part i would say it's pretty accurate so i'm just like if they would have packed themselves with a hundred percent crew down build Man, that would be a lot more. If they would have mentioned something like that about Kuna, oh man, that would have been like, yup, this is really accurate. Uh, and then we saw Tuma coming in with his uh, lifelines heavens, obviously, uh, saving Sena's, 
rather bad. She was because she was literally about to get KO'd by the boss. <laughs> she was about to get one shot up by Charlie Gates three coming in, and then and then uh, after that we had uh, Toma just going crazy trying to see if he can beat all the grunts. But uh, he ends up facing more and more grunts at the end of the day, and then look at what, who we have. Uh, after that, we had the main character, we had the main protagonist, uh, Ryusei Fudo coming in with his, uh, obviously his Helios Gundam, activating that, I don't know if he was actually using like his ultimate full burst. Um, what I see was basically two satellite cannon from like the double X. I don't think he was activating all of them, but uh, I guess he was able to wipe out everyone, and then Satan was like, oh, that's why you would call... What is it, the Gumpla Club Ace or whatever, whatever she said? So giving him a lot of credit for just, you know, basically wiping everyone out. And that, that's pretty much it. So after that, we saw a lot of like the other contestants, if you will, just kind of gathering around waiting for the ultimate final boss. But that never happens because uh, we got hacked. Um, their game basically got hacked by uh, Kentoro because he wanted revenge, uh, I guess, in the Gundam. No, uh, is it even the Gundam Battle? Gundam Festival? I guess it's basically getting the festival, right? Uh, so he basically hacked everyone. Um, he started throwing those uh, red plasticky things and then he started hacking everyone, more or, le more or less petrifying everyone, right? And then we had this one special character. I'm pretty sure I saw people mentioning him. This one special character is actually from um, the original Gundam Breaker 3. I don't know because I never actually played myself. So do let me know if he actually uh, appeared it in there. So he made three extremely funny lines that I feel that everyone can definitely relate to um so he basically said what did he say so he basically said oh i can't block this i i can't block this attack like why and then he was like is this like are they are they hacking or not so that is really resembling to like when we playing that league three and three arena when all those people using those you know um those op ridiculously um cooldown reduction build and we don't take damage and I, i'm pretty sure a lot of people were thinking like are they hacking like are like are these people hacking the game and obviously not right it's called uh u utilizing a hundred percent cooldown reduction trait so if we get, if uh if people still do not know i hope you guys do um aware that there's no there's 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 basically no cheating right so uh and then he said the one final, i guess the one final line is, is that uh i'm not taking any damage so basically in leak right when we're taking all those like custom e skill from like depending what kind of enemy we're facing we we solemnly take any damage so uh to me that that right th those three lines were really like that that kind of hit me hit me home basically and after that we saw kentoro like basically in the one to one scale perfect uh not perfect uh a one to one scale unicorn gundam and he was just basically laughing in on that so yeah that's pretty much where we end up at and do let me know how you guys feel about the episode overall like do you guys like it uh do you guys like the overall interaction with like the characters and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So I'm pretty sure next week around we should start seeing maybe Barb uh Barbatoros maybe. I don't know. Maybe towards the later, maybe episode four, five, or six, I don't know. But uh he actually did appear in his a little bit of a costume, maybe we'll I guess it's a pretty much fitting, right? Because uh, Halloween is around the corner. I guess he wanna dress up as like a um possessed person, pers possessed a guy. I don't know, but uh, that's where we kind of basically left off with. So next week we should be able to see a pretty sure a lot more action packs stuff, maybe a little bit more character development if you will. But you know, with that being said, that is going to be pretty much it. And then I'll catch you guys all next week with you know episode three.